Hello guys and gals, welcome back. We are back on Surrounded yet again. There has been two major updates since I last played, uh, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a good good playthrough this time, uh, guys. This time I'm probably gonna do a bit more of action orientated uh, playthrough, so I'm probably gonna cook out a lot of like just running around and looting and stuff like that. And um, if you guys would prefer to see more of the running around and the looting and stuff like that, because usually what I'm gonna do when I when I do um like a POI, I'm just gonna loot it up and then um I'll just kind of show you guys the loot at the end. But anyways, let's uh, let's get into the settings and stuff like that. Um, settings are pretty standard. I've just made it more Walking Dead style. If you guys have watched my playthroughs before, you know that's how I like to do it. I turned up the amount of zombies and I have them a bit slower um, than they normally would be. And if they do hit you, they hit a bit harder. I've also adjusted the bandit uh, health and the military health. I put the bandits down a tiny bit, but I put the military guys up because, you know, the military guys would obviously be harder to kill. Um, but yeah, there's a few other settings like that. If you guys want to see my full settings, just say it in the comments and I can show it in the next video. But anyway, let's uh, let's get cracking. I'm not sure exactly where I am on the map. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm just going to try to get myself a bit of loot and uh, I'll come back to you once uh, stuff starts happening. Alrighty guys, we are just done with our first POI and we haven't come across come out with too much. Uh, we did find this axe which is huge. So huge. We're three shotting the zombies now instead of uh, like five or six hitting them. We found a toolbox as well, which is kinda good, so we can store a bit more without having uh, without having to need a backpack. So I'm gonna keep going down this way and uh, we'll see what we come across. Oh that's a big find. That's so good. Now we now we have a GPS guys. So, ah, I'm up here. Okay, so I'm in the top town. Okay. Oh, this is new. Uh, one special container. PO oh, there's a POI boss here somewhere. I did not know that. Uh, okay. Also, I, I like that it says large backpacks. And the very first thing I found on the first zombie was a, was a backpack. So that's good. <laughs> Alrighty, we have to check guys. The stash is not here. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to houses. Um It's getting night soon. Um so I'm probably just gonna be uh, chilling a little bit. Since I don't really have I have a civilian flashlight, but oh and there's no battery in it even, so that's uh, that's no good. But yeah, it's night time. I've no light. Um I actually thought I had the civilian light, but uh, yeah, I need a battery. But uh I'm probably just gonna chill in a house or something for a while until um you know until it's light because uh, nobody wants to see this stuff in the dark um uh, we well, need to get a, a bit of a bit of night vision going hopefully not too far away but until then we'll uh we'll just chill we'll just chill at night time all right guys we found our first gun in that little red car right there just a hunting rifle. Uh, we actually have a couple of rounds for it, but uh, yeah, nothing crazy. At least we have a bit of ammo. Uh, no suppressor though, so it's going to draw a lot of attention if we use it. But it's all good. It's all good. Um, I got a lot of uh, cloth as well, so I was able to make some of the good bandages. Um, I'm really low on food because I've no can opener. So that's my biggest issue right now, is that I might run out of food. Oh, there we go, guys. We got our can opener. That is huge. Now we won't starve to that. We might die a different way, but it won't be because of starvation, right? <laughs> All right, cool. So the oh look, at this dog. Oh, they added dogs. That's so cool. That's so cool. So I found this camp and they have a they have a crafting uh, station. So that's kind of cool. What do I need for this? Okay. 
I wish I had a known that I wouldn't have made all these rags. Um, ten of them. Okay. Um, I do want to get our own base kind of getting uh, get started, but um, yeah, we need a lot more stuff for that. But that's really cool that you can use their uh, crafting bench. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I decided that we're gonna leave the town. By the way, we're gonna we're gonna go this way. Um, we are going to have to go way right here, though, to avoid um, to avoid the radiation zone, though, I'm pretty sure. Um, I want to just get more center map before we start building and stuff. So, we have enough food and water, I think. Just to at least get us to the next area. So, we're going to go there, and, uh, yeah. Ooh, there's an infestation there. Quick look here again. Yeah, we're gonna go to here is what I was thinking. We'll go to here and then we'll make our way more and more down towards somewhere here. Where was it we built last time? I think we built here last time. Oh yeah, and the survivor camp is there then. That's what that means. So yeah, that's good. So we might just go here, we loot here a bit, and then we go to the survivor camp. Um we'll throw our we have two tents in our backpack as well, so we can throw them up somewhere. That we can uh, just store a bit of loot easily. Alrighty guys. So we have travelled all the way from Elwood. All the way down here. Towards this town here. That's kind of more central. Um, basically I, w I went along the road the whole way. Hoping to find a car. Because we have so much gas. Um, that we could uh, you know. Just get a full car. And off we go. Uh, be making things a lot easier. Um, this is new. This POI. It's like a truck stop or something. This wasn't here before, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I also placed my two tents here. We're just going to leave stuff here. So uh, it's a bit more central. And once I get my car going, eventually, I can uh, I can start doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out this uh, POI and uh, see what it has to offer. Wait, it just snowed, guys. I was like, oh, this fog is insane. And then... Snow just appeared. <laughs> I love that he's added snow, though. I don't think snow was in before. This is kind of cool. Alrighty, guys. We are on day three. Um, it was getting dark, and I knew I wouldn't be able to finish this during the night, so I ran to the trader over there. Um, I made myself a sleeping bag, so now we can actually plop that down just over here by the tents, and at least we can set a set point now, uh, a spawn point now. Um, just so if we do die, it's a. Uh... Oops, that's the wrong button, team. That is the wrong button. Okay, so spawn point is set. Um, okay, so now, at least if we die, we're not completely screwed, right? Um, I did have to give away my shirt. <laughs> I did have to give away my shirt. Uh, I had to tear it into rags because I didn't have enough cloth. So that is something I had to do. So we are in we are in search of a new shirt. But uh, I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. And um, I also had to get rid of my shemag. Um, to uh to get enough cloth as well. All right, we're just gonna give a quick whistle. Get a few guys coming this way. I forgot how good the whistle was. Um, I only started using it in this POI. I, 
forgot how good it was. Uh, we nearly have enough skill points also for um, the lockpicks. So we'll be able to start lockpicking soon. team we nearly died that was a close one we got jumped by two sprinters that was a close one Whew. also uh, for those of you that are probably going to comment why am I not putting bags inside of bags I have that disabled and um, I'm just not a fan of it in survivor games I, I don't mind it in Tarkov I, I do it in Tarkov um, but in like a big open world survival kind of thing, I'm not a fan of it. So I just, uh, yeah, I don't do that. Ooh, nice. Alright, I'm going to have to go drop off some loot again. Oh, there's a boss right there. Holy, I did not even notice him. Hmm, there's only 12 shots. I wonder if that's enough to kill him. I doubt it. Wow. I was not expecting him at all. We might give him a try. I don't think we have the ammo for it, but we might try it. He looks smaller than the ones that are in military. Or maybe that's just the new models. I'm not, I'm not sure. But he does look a little bit smaller than what are in the military ones, right? Maybe? I'm really struggling for food right now. Um, I have raw meat that I need to, uh, that I need to cook. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go and do that soon. I'm going to get this one done. I'm going to loot this and then we might. I don't know. I don't know whether to try kill him or not. I honestly don't think 12, 12 rounds is going to be enough. Holy shit, there's a guy right here. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, guys. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I don't think we try that. Not with only 12 bullets. If we had more ammo, I... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I forgot. We picked up more ammo. Okay, we're going to try this. We're going to try it. We're going to get on the roof or something, though. Um, I need to get on the roof of, like, one of the fire trucks over there beside him, maybe. Or maybe on one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can get on this, this truck here. Without him aggro on me, that's the issue. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's give this a try. Ooh, that's a lot of health. Okay, so how much? Yeah, yeah, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, where is he? Head. I don't think that hit. Okay, that one did. Okay, we have the ammo for this. We can get this guy. Nice, that was him. Awesome, and I didn't aggro too many other zombies, which is really good. All right, that's it. Let's run over here a bit. Oh, when I said I didn't aggro too many other zombies, I kind of did. That's okay, though. I think I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's heal back up. 
Alrighty. First boss down, guys. Let's go. What did we get? A turret gun, nice. What did we get? Creek Prison key card. I've actually never been to Creek Prison, so that's good. We were meant to do it in the last uh, save. But uh, I ended up kind of stopping playing. That's kind of cool. 60 round mag for Glock. Alright guys, that is a good way to end the first episode, I think. Uh, three days down, guys. Not a bad start, to be fair. Um, in the next episode, I am going to try and get some sort of a base set up. Um, probably on day four, though, I might kind of run around a little bit more on the roads and try to find a car. We really kind of need a car to uh, kind of help speed things up. But for right now, guys, I am going to go and sit up here in the dark and uh, be on my own. For the next couple of minutes since I can't really do anything else. Alright. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed please do throw a like on the video. Do comment down below and do subscribe guys. I am trying to get to the thousand subscribers um, in the next couple of months. Hopefully by putting out a ton of videos that you guys like that will happen. Anyway guys thanks so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.